Mostly around eight. I'll try to uh, deflect the uh, elevon when we have a decent wind here. It's sitting at uh, zero now. I have an inclinometer out here at the tip uh, that will measure the actual elevon deflection. So far, from what I've been seeing, uh, the flow appears to be reasonably well behaved to 20 degrees of elevon deflection. Uh, and at 25, it's uh, uh, significant separation in span width flow. At 30 degrees, it's totally gone. Um, to give you an idea, all the way down like this, as far as it goes, that's about 35 degrees right there. That's it. Yeah, actually, that's 35 right there. And let's see. If I can get this set right. There's 30 degrees right there. There's about 25 right there. If I bring it up to 20, that's 16, 15. There's 20 right there. There's 20 degrees of deflection, and we still have some spots have, well, the wind's not consistent enough here, but the tip is flying out here. Uh, and of course, the Elevon is washed out. There's about two and a half or three degrees of washout in the Elevon. So we see that the tip of the Elevon is still flying, but inboard, the flow is starting to separate at 20 degrees deflection. And if I bring this up to 10, and we get a little gust of wind, you'll see them all straight. Well, actually, here's about 12. 13 degrees, and at 12, 13 degrees, it's fairly well behaved. So, I don't see a drastic improvement over what we had at Marina Beach. I see some improvement. What you can note here is that um, the tip of the Elevon, uh, the flow is separating later than at the root end of the Elevon, indicating uh, that the additional washout in the Elevon is helping. Um, but overall, it looks like it points to the answer being there's not enough washout in this wing panel. Uh, and that when you uh, deflect the Elevon down, uh, you get traditional swept flying wing spanwise flow uh, due to lack of uh, sufficient washout. If that is actually the case, then the wing panels have to be built, which would be uh, probably one year after. So, uh, hard to say at this point. The wind is a little light, uh, but we can see the tufts moving around. They're pretty well behaved here. I'm at 13 degrees, and I can go to, let's take it up to, there's 16 there, just about 16. There's 20, 21. Let me bring it back a little bit. There's 20 right there. And 20, starting to have problems inboard. Outboard still looks reasonably well behaved and then by the time I take it to 25 it's it's all gone and uh, higher wind speeds of course don't make any difference and uh, could it be a low Reynolds number problem I don't know hard to say but we are at speeds below stall speed better if we had winds up around uh, 20. And, uh, in other words, double what we're having right now. But I doubt that's going to solve this problem. And if I bring this back up to zero, bingo, there they all go back, well behaved. And I can come down to 10. Let's see. Well, there's 14 right there, still well behaved at 14. Starting to go inboard. That's 19. That's 15. There's 20 right there. We'll wait for a gust of wind here. Hold it at 20. Wait for a gust. 
uh, the uh, tufts are having a hard time staying attached inboard. Outboard, they seem to be doing okay. Uh, so obviously there's there's an issue here, and uh, I am fairly certain that with this, when we start getting separated flow like this, uh, you could. Is 20 degrees enough? Uh, control deflection? I don't know. Uh, get it off the ground, it's probably fine for uh, fine straight and level. I doubt that this is uh, actually uh, safe to fly under all conditions. At least that's the current analysis. I'm going to continue to play with this here and hopefully we can fix up a little bit. Maybe we'll be back later.